it's Danielle at Great Lakes Aquarium and today I am so excited to introduce some new animals to the exhibit floor and they are the anablips. Now these animals are super super unique and they are here in our critter corner exhibit soon to also move to maybe another location in the future because these animals actually live out in the wild in northern South America so kind of that Amazon region and as you look really closely, you can see something a little bit unique about them. Because when we look at the surface, we notice they're looking at us. But then if we go below the surface, they are looking at us. Now, as we look, <laughs> there they are, coming a little bit closer. So these animals are often called four-eyed fish. But really, they only have two sets of eyes but they can see in four different ways. So as we look closely on their eyes, like I said, you can see some at the top and then also at the bottom. <laughs> They're kind of a little bit curious what this phone is, checking it out a little bit, but also backing away when they're nervous. There we go, they're seeming a little more comfortable now. Yeah, so these animals, like I said, are often called four-eyed fish because they can see in those four ways. Now I drew up a little diagram of what their eyes look like. So if you imagine your eye, we have our people, the iris, so the colored part, and that all gets sent back to the retina, which helps process what we're seeing, and then which sends it through our optic nerve into our brain. Now, with the anableps, what's really unique is although they have one iris, they have two separate pupils. So one pupil is the air pupil, so that's looking above the water. The other pupil looks down underneath the water, giving them that four-eyed look. So it's kind of split right through there. They have two separate retinas to take in that information and then send it to their brain. Now you might wonder why does a fish need four eyes to be looking around? And that's a great way to be hunting. So these animals are excellent at catching insects. So up on the surface where they spend most of their time, they'll be searching for those aquatic insects, anything that they can get, and they're gonna try and get them. You can see they're kind of following my hand like it's some food. So they're gonna go for insects up at the surface, but then under the water, they can also go down and catch other types of invertebrates, diatoms, or even small fish. So as hunters, this is a super great way to keep an eye on your surroundings and look around for what you need. These are predominantly freshwater fish, but also can be found in some brackish water, so slightly salty, but you wouldn't really see them in those marine coastal areas or anything like that. So they're gonna be looking around on the surface of those freshwater areas, like the Amazon rainforest, kind of cruising along. These fish also are super well adapted to living in places that the water levels drop. So when we think of the Amazon River Basin, oftentimes there are low tide times. And so these anablets are super well adjusted to be up in that low water areas. <laughs> They're still following my hands around. Really adapted to be in those low water areas, which makes them even more successful in that really changing environment. So they are here at Great Lakes Aquarium. They're an excellent addition to all the animals that live here with us. We're super excited to have them up on the exhibit floor. They tell an amazing story of how things can adapt and change for their environment, how to be excellent hunters. And they're also just super cool to look at. Uh, I know I've never seen anything like this, so to see that four-eyed look is absolutely amazing. So, if you're curious on seeing them for yourself, Come on down to Great Lakes Aquarium. We're open 10 to 6 here in Duluth, Minnesota. We'd be super excited to see you come on in. Um, if you have any questions about these animals, definitely fill up the comments. You, we're happy to answer them there. Or if you're here, you can talk to us here. We want to share everything we know about these animals. They're super cool. Our exhibit even has some live mangroves in the back as well as a fun little goby that you'll have to look for. He's sometimes a little hard to find, so it's like a game of hide and seek for you that you can try out. With that, thanks again for all the support that we see here at the aquarium. We are so appreciative to everything that everyone has been doing, whether it's coming on in, following these videos, sending in donations. Everything makes a huge difference for us. And 
I look forward to seeing you again on Thursday for another live. See you later.